Okay, so this problem looks like it might be complicated because you have two things multiplied together in division. So you might think to do a quotient rule, but then if you do a quotient rule, you'll have a product rule combined with a quotient rule. It might be more complicated. So instead of doing all that, there's a strategy that you can do. Some problems you can simplify first, and then it's going to make the whole process easier. So before I do any first or second derivatives, first I'm going to go ahead and just do a simplifying step. So the very first thing I want to do is I'm going to foil the top. So I'll take x times everything inside here. So x times all three of these, then negative 3 times all three of these. So x times the first one, I get x cubed. And then times the middle term, I get 3x squared. x times 9 is 9x. Then I'll take negative 3 times everything inside. So when I do that, I'll get negative 3x squared, negative 9x, negative 27. All this is over x squared. So again, no calculus. All I'm doing is multiplying everything out and simplifying it first. When we take a look at this, now that we've expanded it, we notice some terms that can cancel. 3x squared and negative 3x squared cancel. 9x and negative 9x cancel. So all you're left with now is x cubed minus 27. Now, this is something that we could apply the quotient rule if we wanted to at that step. However, instead of doing that, Let's instead take everything on top and divide it by x squared because by doing that, we can get two separate terms and then all we have to do is apply the power rule. So if we divide everything, we get x cubed over x squared, 27 over x squared. So we're splitting it up and you're allowed to do that as long as there's only one term on the bottom. That's going to leave you with x, and I'm going to write it this way, I'm going to write it x 20, minus 27x to the negative 2. And the reason why is because I need to apply a power rule to this. It's better to keep it in this format, in the exponent form, so I can apply the rule. Okay, so now that it's in this form, I'm ready to find the first and second derivative. Let's first start with the first derivative. Derivative of x is going to be 1. This one I'll use the power rule. Negative 2 comes down, multiplies by that. Negative 27, so positive 54x to the negative 3, subtract 1 from that power. I'll rewrite this in a second. Right now I'll go ahead automatically and do the second derivative. So I'm taking the derivative of the first one. Derivative of 1 is 0 for this. The negative 3 comes down, multiplies by the 54. And when you do that, you're going to get negative 162x and then we subtract 1 and you get uh, minus 4. So here's our final answers that we'll put uh, as far as entering it into the online homework system, we, it's better to write these without negative exponents. We can write this as 1 plus 54 over x cubed. And then the second derivative is going to be negative 162, all that over x to the fourth power. Again, these become positive when we write them down below. So th here's your first and here's your second derivatives.